2016 me would have never seen this coming, but Pleasant Valley's actually off to kind of a good start. We even found a bit of rifle ammo in the piles of revolver ammo this run continues to give us. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series, where I am headed down the road to the barn. I was thinking as I started the episode, like, do I want to head back that way and, you know, go through the snow? There's a road that leads straight to the barn, or do I want to follow the road? And the actual road that's uncovered. And because this will give us a bit of a movement bonus and also make it a little bit easier to see, especially since it seems to be maybe getting foggier a little bit, maybe this is the way to go. But yeah, Pleasant Valley's been pretty nice so far. We have some more looting to do, but we are on the way. The thing that I'm most excited about and have been mentioning for a few episodes now, so maybe sounding like a bit of a broken record, but I'll say it again anyway. One of the things that I think I'm most excited about at the moment is that when I have finished repairing the tower in Pleasant Valley, which I know where it is, I remember saying a few episodes back that like, we're gonna have to find it. It's like, wait a minute. No, I know exactly where it is. What, what am I saying? Um, once we've repaired that, we no longer have to lug around all the stuff we've been bringing with us for the purpose of the signal void repairs. Jennifer is cold. So that's exciting. And I am looking forward to that being a thing because that is one set of items that has been a perpetual sort of weight to lug around. So I look forward to having that done. And then once we're done with that, once we've kind of looted the, the stuff, you know, between here and there, we're going to visit the barn. We're going to visit the farmstead. We will obviously go to the, uh, to signal Hill, which is where the signal tower is. We will head straight to Timberwolf Mountain and then to Ash Canyon. And then we'll do the Timberwolf looting on the way back through Ash Canyon. I see a deer. Maybe a demon. Also, one of the nice things about fog is keeping us nice and warm. Thicker atmosphere means more retention of warmth even when things are really cold in every single direction you can look. <laughs> yes, my fingers did a little bit of dancing on the WASDA keys to keep moving forward while doing that. Oh, man. We are on the way. The barn's going to be visible over this next hill. Well, I take that back. The barn will not be visible because it's foggy, but, you know, the route to the barn. What probably will be visible over the next hill is the archway, indicating the path back to the barn, which we will pretty much take. Yeah, I'm very glad that I took the road, actually, because we are still a little bit encumbered, mainly due to that stuff that I'm looking forward to offloading. Um, we are still carrying a little bit more. I frankly probably could have gotten rid of a few other things that I picked up in Thompson's Crossing. Most of our stuff is back there and will remain back there. Oh, wow. Hold on. Sorry. I'm being a stickler right now. Interesting. Sorry. I'm just, I'm looking at, <laughs> okay, I'll keep moving. We're going to keep focusing on the game, but I'm just noticing the textures on these rails getting really blurry in the distance. And I'm like, what's my anisotropic filtering setting at? I might need to go into the NVIDIA panel and fix that because that was not necessary anyway that was distracting there's the barn you can see it nice all right so we're gonna visit this car might lose a pinch of condition on the way to the barn because it's getting pretty cold but we're in good shape at the moment the reason that I want to visit the barn should be pretty obvious at this point, if you've been paying attention to recent episodes. Certain loot items are going to be more likely there. I do see a couple of wolves surrounding the barn. A number of deer. Alright, there's some stuff in this car. What exactly remains to be seen? Oh, that's an MRE. Hello. Okay. I'll take it. You had me at hello. 
let's <laughs> literally had me at hello. Um, let's go ahead and head back to the barn before we risk losing too much condition. So yeah, might lose a point or two of condition here. May also deal with some slight wolf aggro. Let's go ahead and get the rifle out just in case. We did find some ammo, thankfully, and we may indeed find more. The wolves are mainly over there. Two in front of me at the moment. Okay, and there's the hypothermia risk. I'm going to take a slight detour and check this structure before we head to the barn. But also this is helping me give them a very wide radius here. Okay, let's step in here and see what we can find. Probably not going to be a lot, if anything. Oh. Huh? Actually, there's some revolver ammo. Okay, at this point, the game is mocking me. I'm sorry. This is intentional. This is coded. The game is listening to me. You cannot convince me otherwise. This is the game literally just making a joke of my intentions to find rifle ammo at this point. That's what's happening. I will not be convinced otherwise. <sighs> oh, wow. You're close. Okay, there are multiple wolves. There are at least four, possibly five wolves in the immediate vicinity. Let me pop into this tractor real quick just to negate the possibility of aggro for a moment. Look around for anything. Okay, nothing else. There's another tractor, of course, but I'm not even going to worry about that. We're just going to step inside before any of them get mad. Okay. Now, I found some... I found a couple... Oh, yeah, that's right. I found this thing. Um, Tell you what, let's go ahead and harvest... That lantern. We're warm enough in here, which is nice. Kind of knew that would be the case. I totally forgot about the extra lantern. That's been part of the fuel. But that's been part of the weight problem, certainly. Alright, so now we have plenty of fuel, which is nice. Yeah, totally forgot about that. I'm sure there's some comments in the last episode on that. I'm sure there are. Let's check this out. I'm uh, gonna leave the flare. Don't need it. Again, I'm I'm gonna be leaving a fair amount of loot on the ground as I work my way through this area because hello. Let's grab those. Because um, we have lots of climbing to do. So I don't want to be picking up things that's, that are going to make me heavier as I get ready to be highly mobile. We even left the travel wall behind, which is interesting, but I think it's the right decision given where we're going. We're just not in an area of the world where the travel wall is going to help. Now, once I have the um, uh, technical backpack, that will be a very different story. But for now, we're going to go without it. The Travois, that is. Because it's two pounds in my inventory. And see, I'm still finding more dusting sulfur and things that I can use for... And I'll probably find more here in Pleasant Valley, to be honest. All right, we're going to leave that. There's an example of something I'm leaving. We're going to leave that spray paint. I always leave the spray paint, though. We're going to leave the... Yeah, all that. Yeah, see, we're not picking up any of that. At this point, it's just not necessary. Even for cloth. Like, there will be cloth items that I can break down in the farmstead, for example. Oh, hey. More revolver ammo. Just what I needed. Thanks, game. Oh, hold on. There's a whetstone. No! Oh. Honestly, I cannot remember the last time that happened. That might be a first. I don't think it's ever happened in Against All Odds. I was just trying to, like, 
Where did that happen? I, I, yeah, you can. You can fall through there. Wow. Wow. I thought that was the main spot you could fall through. No, you can definitely fall through right there. Today I learned. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Not picking up the antiseptic. Good lord. Alright, that is not one but two hacksaws. I'll tell you what, I will pick these up just to compare them to the one that I have and take the one with me that has the best condition. So there's an 85% hacksaw. We're going to keep that one. We're going to drop the rest of them. Not a lot going on here in the barn, sadly. Can anyone confirm, does a heavy hammer still potentially spawn down here? I mean, in the new loot tables. Obviously, that's always been a potential heavy hammer spawn in the olden days. Is it still one? Not asking where the new ones are, just asking if that spot is still one. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know, because I'm curious. I think I've wondered aloud about that a couple of times now, in fact. Okay, have I been back here yet? No, I haven't, because there's some wood. Uh, nothing really else, though, so... Okay. This is where life gets a little bit more difficult, because we do... Hang on, I've got some coffee. I do have coffee. Let's drink this. And as a matter of fact, I think what I'll do, let's actually grab that wood. That's going to give me a bit more energy to get through the remainder of this day and get to the barn. Or not, to, we're in the barn, but to get to the farmstead. Let's get that started. Perfect. Okay, so we've got an hour and 13 minutes. Let's quickly heat a cup of herbal tea. We're going to drink that. That didn't seem like it was very filling. Yeah, that, that was a partial cup, so let's go ahead and drink another partial cup here, and that'll warm me up a little bit more. And now, let me also take this torch, and this is where it's going to get a little bit spicy, because we could have some molds. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's incredibly foggy. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get back to the road. I'm glad I know my way around. We're going to stay real close to these buildings here, because we know the wolves are over to the right. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. Hang on. I didn't see that crate originally. All right. Yeah, it's very foggy. So I'm just going to go pretty much straight this way. Might have a deer jump scare me here. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and speak it into existence in case it happens. Okay. So I can kind of see the road leading to the archway here. And I just I don't want to get too close to that side of it because the wolves are over there. Temperature-wise, we're fine now, thanks to the tea. And hopefully this fog will not stay in place for too long. I'm similarly encumbered to when I left. All right, let's get back on the road. That'll help it l at least a little bit with the speed. And now we just need to make it to the... If not for the wolves... In the fog, I would go straight from the barn to the farmstead using kind of the back road because it's a little faster. But I think it makes sense to follow this route. So that's what I'm going to do. No, no, let's not put the torch out. Should have grabbed a couple of torches off the fire, but you know, it's fine. We are warm enough regardless, and we will probably stay warm enough thanks to the tea. So just a matter of keeping my head on a swivel and looking out for anything that might try to eat my face off. 
It is a shame it's this foggy, though, because, you know, there's, at some point as I move here, there's a, a shack off to the left that I can check out, and I'm not going to be able to see as clearly where that is, and I don't necessarily want to wander <laughs> off into the woods at this exact moment. That would not go particularly well. Or at least it has the potential not to go well. Probably be a bad decision. To say the very least. Very quiet evening in Pleasant Valley. You can hear the wolves howling in the background. Carrion crows somewhere off to the left. It's not too much farther. Okay, so here is the bridge. Yeah, it's really not too much farther. Massive bridge. I could see the, like, the outline of the thing sort of poking out of the fog a bit. Okay. <laughs> now, if we find gauntlets in this trunk, I'm gonna laugh. That is a joke you will only get. This will come in handy. Okay. Worn climbing socks. That's not gauntlets, but still funny. We, of course, we only have new wool mittens at the moment. But if you've watched all the content since the channel came back, I think it was one of the early, maybe one of the very earliest runs in the Against All Challenges meta series that we did. There were some gauntlets in that trunk. So that was interesting. Okay, so we are approaching the farmstead, and I'm actually going to cross over here and see if I can head for the shed. There it is, actually. Perfect. Honestly got here faster than I th was thinking I would, so I will take it. I'm going to quickly step into the tractor here. I don't hear bear crows, so I don't think the bear is particularly close, but I could be horrifically wrong about that. And honestly, the fog's making me a bit nervous about that. If I'm... If I can be totally frank with y'all. Another storm lantern, which I will break down in better time now. There is a revolver round there. Cotton toque that I'm going to thoroughly avoid. A rifle cartridge there. Why is my voice so scratchy? Ah, uh, it's probably because I streamed last night. Yeah, Discord stream, not YouTube stream. YouTube stream's coming soon. <laughs> Which I keep saying, but now that the computer's actually working, I actually mean it. I've meant it before, but not realized how many things were getting in my way. Still realizing how many things were in my way before, and how many things are not in my way now, which is nice. But yeah, I did stream for a good bit last night, and maybe my voice is just more tired than I give it credit for. But I don't care. I am glad to be back to a normal recording schedule, or something approaching that. It's a breath of fresh air. Hey, archery training book. Nice. Not going to worry about the energy drink or the wool scarf. Let's step back down here and quickly inspect the rest of this area for anything that might be. Now you can sleep in any of this, which is kind of cool. 
All right, so there's a hatchet. It's kind of nice. I'll pick that up and see if it's better than the one I have. Similar to what I did with the hacksaw. Okay. Not really seeing anything else, but they love to hide <laughs> revolvers in the hay here. And it's not like I need a revolver at this point. I really don't. I don't think there is one, though. Okay. Yeah, I really don't. Let's go ahead and drink that. Also, am I carrying anything extra clothing-wise? Yeah, the extra climbing socks. Don't need those. Go away. Go away. There's the extra torch. I'll go ahead and just harvest that for a stick. Steak. Get rid of that flare. I do need to clean my guns, but uh, actually I don't need to. Hunting rifle's fine. Revolver is the one that needs to be cleaned. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Okay, I can't see anything. I'm going to be quiet for a second because I need to listen for bear crows. Okay? Okay. Carrion crows. Or maybe weather crows. Which, they're not actually weather crows, but we can call them that. I think they're just flying overhead. So not carrion crows. Yeah, they're definitely flying overhead, because I heard them go right to left. I cannot see the silhouette. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this fog is so thick. Oh my lord. It's so insanely thick. Pleasant Valley Farmstead. We have arrived. And I don't think the bear is anywhere nearby. Alright, let's look over here. Anything to write home about? Not really. Alright. get inside. I'm going to go straight for the basement so that we can loot this up. Pretty excited because we might be able to make reasonably quick work of this. There's some more scrap metal, which I need. All right, let's go through this, this sort of I think I can use this. I'll grab the bandage and the painkillers. Sure. Might end up dropping those off again. All right, we're gonna, just going to go clockwise around the entire area here. We'll grab the replacement fuse. Not going to need it, but, you know. <laughs> wow, two. Okay, this is the game definitely giving you what you need in case you didn't bring it with you. But this is our final tower repair that I know of. I mean, I could be wrong, too. There could be an additional tower repair. Gonna I'm going to be very time. salty about that if that's the case. But if that's the case, then we will have to deal with it. Because we need to beat Signal Void in order to get access to the next tail. At this point, I will be lucky if we get through both tails before the next one drops. But we're catching up, slowly but surely. 
this series has had an interesting run, scheduling-wise. Okay, let's grab the vegetable cabinet. Let's see what we can find here. Potatoes. All right, perfect. Anything else here? Not really. Anything else on the shelves? Nope, nope, nope. Anything else underneath? Cool. All right, did I leave anything on the... No. Nothing on top of the workbench. Next order of business. There could be... Nope. Nothing nice in there. <laughs> There's a heavy hammer, which is nice. There's some wires. And it looks like some running river oats. Another whetstone. Some potatoes. Oh, wow. A reasonable amount of potatoes. Let's head upstairs, shall we? And see what else the farmstead has for us. That is a sport fest. Nothing there. Some tea on the table. Perfectly drinkable. Don't ask questions. Nobody knows why, but it is. It's freshly poured, but nobody's living here. It's fine. Not a haunted house. Okay. Before I head into the kitchen, let's go ahead and finish looting the front portion of the house. Nothing. This will come in handy. Don't need the wool socks. Yeah, we're gonna drop a lot of stuff before we leave here. More painkillers. Huh. Where is that? Ah, some freshly poured coffee on the desk. But not a haunted house. It's fine. Totally fine. What was in here? The socks. Don't need the socks. Alright. That's that. So this is where it's likely to be a little bit kinder on the loot front. Hold on. Okay. There will be some water here. There's a sewing kit. Nice. I don't need the water. But I will pick it up while I'm here. And I will probably go ahead and just drop a bunch of stuff here in the fridge because I can tell how much I'm already being slowed down and I still have other things to pick up here. So, yeah, there's a lot. There's some syrup. Ruined syrup, but doesn't matter. We can still eat it, drink it, consume it. One of those verbs. Condensed milk, very nice. So this is the thing we're going to have when we leave here, when we go for Timberwolf Mountain, we're going to have basically our food stocks just completely taken care of. We will not be in want of any food or drink. Okay, let me go ahead and drop some stuff off here. We are going to drop off most of that water. I've got some reading to do. We're gonna get, I'm just gonna put the extra matches and stuff here. The magnifying lens can go away as well. Extra painkillers, you know what, hold on. Let's not waste lantern fuel. All right, as we were, All right, don't need the ragged work pants. Definitely too much weight. Yes, we're putting clothes in the fridge. Again, don't ask questions. It's fine. All right, that's going to go up. Uh, yeah, we're going to put all the cooking stuff up. We just don't need it, including the maple syrup. All the potatoes, which hurts a little bit. But at this point, we have cooking five. We don't need to worry about things that will, like, cook for the sake of, like, 
cooking skill. We just need to think in terms of what's weighing us down. Okay. So excited to get the signal boy stuff wrapped up. Do I have another? I do have another one. So let's go ahead and harvest that. That will take an hour. And that'll give me a little bit more lantern fuel. A lot more lantern fuel. Nice. Now it's like two thirds full. Okay, let's step outside. We're going to check the porch container. Oh, wow. There's not a container. Huh. Fancy that. All right. That is a toque that I don't need. There is nothing else here. Okay. Upstairs we go. This stuff will come in handy. Take the energy bar. I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even gonna touch that water. It's just I don't I don't need it. I'm sorry. Like it's not necessary at this point. I already checked those. Oh, what was in there? Yeah, don't need the shirt. That awkward moment where you've searched certain containers so many times over the course of your time playing a game that, like, you've just entered the room and searched them and you can't... <laughs> your brain's like, did I look there? Did I open that? It's a real thing. Feel free to share your horror stories in the comments. Alright, there's another Storm Lantern, which I will take for the fuel. I still have hope for some rifle ammo, although at this point, the only spot where I'm likely to find rifle ammo in a box that's not here would be Signal Hill. <laughs> you cannot tell me this game is not memeing on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's, it, it's so rude at this point. It's, it's inconsiderate. Like, you know, you know I want rifle ammo. You know that. You are aware. And you are choosing to replace all the rifle ammo boxes in real time with revolver ammo boxes and laugh about it. It's so incredibly rude. Alright, still be jerky. Nice. All right. Looks like our only hope for ammo is going to be a signal hill. All right, I do need to sleep, and I also need to eat. I am really encumbered. Good lord. All right, we're going to eat this ruined condensed milk because we can. Sounds gross. I know. But it's 750 calories. And I don't have to worry about food poisoning because I have cooking five, which is... Short for long dark magic. We're also going to eat these ketchup chips. Those are low condition. I don't want to look at a red percentage number in my inventory. Alright, let's eat those. Just because they'll help with needing to get rid of a little bit more water. And of course, once I sleep, I'll have plenty to drink afterwards. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, there's the Aurora. I have some reading to do as well, so I might knock that out really quickly before I go anywhere, just to lose a little bit of extra weight. Alright, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and drink the water. Let's get the reading done. The Aurora will give me light to read by. Nice. Carried through into the dawn. So that worked out quite well. We are now at archery level 3. Once we have archery 5, we can crouch with the bow. Not that that's something on the... <laughs> Not that that's something I'm greatly looking forward to at the moment. I still have a rifle, and I intend to use it in this particular series. Okay. I'm going to drop a couple of these, those, drop that. 
Okay, we still have the extra storm lantern. Let's go ahead and harvest that. Oh, that one's very full. You'll love to see it. And now we're going to refuel this one. That's a very full storm lantern. Nice. And now we can drop that. Do I want to go ahead and read that too? Or I, I think, honestly, the weather sounds so good at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and make the trip to Signal Hill. The only thing I need to do is I'm going to step up to the... Well, let me go to the fridge and just finish dropping stuff off. Anything else in here? Not really. Okay. So much stuff. Okay, we're going to put the carrots away, the salt away. All that is going to go away. I just don't need it at the moment. Still so much stuff. The MRE is so much more trouble than it's worth. But it is very calorie dense. So I guess one thing I'll do is get rid of some of the lighter items to make up for carrying the MRE. Because having that in my inventory is a huge comfort. Okay. So I do still have a little bit of weight that I'm lugging around, but it's not going to be for much longer. All right, I've got those reishi mushrooms, which I'll keep. Yeah. We're about to get rid of all the wires. I can drop... <laughs> we're going to put revolver <laughs> ammo in the fridge. Don't ask questions, okay? This is just... This is the way it's going. All right. All right. Let's go. Before I end this episode, I, I would like to get up to Signal Hill, and I think I can make it. Assuming the bear doesn't greet me at the front door, which could happen. Oh, nice. Let's go. There is our tower. The only thing I do not have... Ooh. The only thing I don't have is a battery. And I don't know if the game is going to give me one. Didn't think about that till just now. The game might hand me one. It's been pretty good about that. There's not a battery there. Okay. I'm going to stay the heck away from those wolves. Which are right in front of me. I don't know where the bear is. Which probably means the bear is either... I think there are two bears. We've discussed this recently. There's the bear that patrols here, and then there's the bear across the way. I think. I might be misremembering. I might be thinking of a different zone. But I am going to assume, since I can't see the bear here, that we might have a bear somewhere in front of us. That's where I'm going. Nice and beautiful approach. Crystal clear. This has been a very, very nice welcome to Pleasant Valley. Which makes me immediately suspicious. Although I guess the game has done plenty of memeing with the revolver ammo. So maybe that's how Pleasant Valley is trolling me this time. You know? Maybe that's what Pleasant Valley's doing. So there's the door. <laughs> I made that door so much brighter. I remember testing that update and testing this update for Pleasant Valley and remembering and, and noting that the original version of that door was the same color as the barn. And you couldn't necessarily tell that it was like an entrance. It wasn't obvious because the building is not of the sort that you would typically be able to enter. But then they made it so much brighter. <laughs> Like, wow, okay, guys. <laughs> That's too much contrast. I'm sure other uh, community members and people who had the test build commented on that too. But, like, what? <laughs> that door is so red compared to the rest of the barn. It's like it's been given a fresh veneer. Okay, I still do not hear bear crows. 
Where are the bears? Not that bear crows are always super loud or present even. But I'm starting to wonder if something about that particular audio cue has changed. Oh. No bear. Not even in the cave. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Making progress. We're going to go a little bit long today. But that's okay. Because it's worth it to reach Signal Hill. I regret nothing. And I hope not to regret those words within the next five minutes. I'm getting pretty cold. So it seems like Pleasant Valley is finally thinking about doing its thing. The blue skies seem to be disappearing before our very eyes. It's a beautiful day, though. I'm real happy about it. Okay. Look at that. Look at it! Don't you tell me you've seen it a million times before. Look at it! It's gorgeous. This game is beautiful. This game has no business, none whatsoever, being this freaking gorgeous. Ah, Tarmigan. Do I... If I don't warm up soon. Oh, don't be a drama queen. You're going to be fine. Signal Hill is literally right there. The only thing I'm concerned about is that battery. If the battery is not provided to me outright, the way it has been at other locations, we could be in Pleasant Valley a little bit longer than planned. So this is going to be one heck of a plot twist, potentially, in the next couple of minutes here. Almost there. Would be faster if I was lugging less crap around, but I am so... See, two things are about to happen, aside from the potential no battery. Like, we're going to get everything installed, aside from the battery, in the signal tower. But we are also going to drop everything else, because we will no longer need those things, presumably. And if we do, then lesson learned. Oh. Bear. The bear is up here. rude. At least I think so. Maybe? I have never taken this <laughs> sneaky little route up. But it's because I thought I heard the bear groaning. I could have it could have also just been a noise from the road outside that just came at a very opportune moment. But I really thought I heard that bear. Nope, I think we're good. All right, let's go ahead and crouch. Losing a little bit of condition, but it's worth it. Yeah, we do not have a battery here. There might be one inside. We'll find out. Yeah, transmitter repair is not complete. I know that. I don't know why I went straight for the switch. All right, repair wires. Oh, this is so satisfying. Not only are these animations great, but we're about to never have to carry these things around again. In this series. <laughs> Soundtrack moment.
Okay, moment of truth. As I end this episode, a couple of things. First of all, let's go ahead and literally drop all that. That's a 1.32 pounds, and this is 2.31 pounds right here. Gone forever. And also, I have some scrap metal on me that I no longer need, so we can drop that too. And that is some weight that I will no longer have to lug around ever, ever, ever. Now, please, for the love of God, give me a battery. Please. Oh, there's a battery. <laughs> okay. All right. Hold on. Let me step outside. Let me step back inside. That's our save point. I'm going to stop this episode here. In the next one, we're going to finish repairing that tower. And we are going to um, presumably, you know, know where we need to go for the next, because we've repaired all the rest of the transmitters. So we have a signal to investigate in Hush River Valley, and I think it will give us another objective, even if there's not an Aurora. So that's the thing I'm not sure of. But um, regardless, we'll finish repairing that. And it, from here on out, it's just beelining to uh, Timberwolf Mountain. I was about to say Trapper's Mountain. Timberwolf Mountain and beelining to Ash Canyon for all the stuff. And it's going to be great. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. For early episodes, channel emotes, and member badges, look for the join button. New episodes drop at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time every day but Wednesday. And comments are always welcome. So leave your thoughts below. And I'll see you next time.